Hey guys, okay, so I recorded my about me tag and I was going to include this stuff as part of it, but it was like going on 15 minutes and I don't want it to be too, too long because, you know, first of all, the about me tag is kind of boring, even though it's about me. It's like the questions could have been like way better. I'll probably try to come up with my own about me tag and like start it so that people can circulate that one instead of this one because this one is kind of lame, but whatever, I did it. So yeah. Okay, let's get into some stuff. Okay, so pretty much this video is just to explain to you guys what I use as far as cleaning my face and keeping it moisturized. Um, my whole, I guess my whole regimen for that is like pretty simple. I do the same thing all the time. I don't change products as much as like some gurus do on here. Um, and actually like I used to change products all the time. Because I was trying to find something that was good for my skin because my skin is like really weird. Like one minute it's like super like, oh, I have oily skin. The next minute it's like, oh, I have dry skin. So like I never really knew where I stood as far as like my skin type. So I decided, okay, I have combination skin, damn it. But anyways, so as far as like cleanser, I use Cetaphil. Um, I first started using Cetaphil back in April. I bought the small bottle because it's fairly expensive for a cleanser. But um, this bottle, I think, was like maybe $12, 10 to $12, depending on where you buy it. I got this at Walmart. I think it was like $10. Um, and the other one was like 7 bucks. the small one. So I bought the small one to see if I liked it or whatever. And then um, if I did, I would buy the big one. And voila, I love it. Um, this is like the gentlest thing I've ever used on my face. Like, it doesn't leave me dry. Like, sorry. It doesn't leave it doesn't leave my face dry, um, and it removes everything. And the thing I like about it also, it doesn't like sud up, which to some people it's like, oh, it's not working because it's not making suds. But just because something makes suds doesn't mean it's actually working for you. Because I've used tons of crap that sud up like a whole lot, and it just never worked for me. But um, this works wonders. I love it, love it, love it. Um, Cetaphil daily facial cleanser for normal to oily skin and um i like their motto for every age every stage every day so yeah it's cool and it's by galderma Gal galderma um so you can find this at walgreens walmart wherever cvs um target cetaphil is everywhere so now um also when i started using the cetaphil i bought this um, moisture rescue Garnier, um, you guys can't really see it. It's like a clear jar, whatever. It's green. The product is green, and um, it's like, it's like, it looks watery. But when I say this thing works like wonders, I used it along with the Cetaphil, and they work well together for my skin. And I'm just saying, ladies, this is from my skin, or guys, whoever's watching. This is what works for me. So. You know, yeah, but they work well together. Um, this is a gel cream moisturizer, and at first I was like, you know, hesitant to try it because I've never tried a gel cream before. But, um, you know, it works really well. Um, so this is my second jar of this, as well as this is my second bottle of Cetaphil. So obviously it's working for me. Um, it doesn't leave my skin too oily or anything like that. It leaves me moisturized for the whole day. I don't have to like reapply anything. If I look shiny right now, it's because I have a freaking bulb shining at my face. But that's why I probably look shiny. But um, this thing, wonderful. Um, yeah, but then before I bought the second jar, when I finished my first jar, I was like, you know, I'm going to try to get the Cetaphil um, moisturizer so that, you know, I can use the whole product line because I'm thinking, okay, Cetaphil goes with Cetaphil, so why not just, you know, use them together, you know, cleanser, moisturizer, but that wasn't the case. Um, I bought this one, um, UVA, UVB Defense SPF 50 Facial Moisturizer for all skin types. <laughs> this thing left me looking like a freaking ghost. Like, you, we all know sunscreen is white, and literally... It pumps out white, and it kind of stays that color once you put it on. Like, there's, like, no, like, truly, like, rubbing this in for me. Like, it says this is light, non-greasy, 
um, moisturizer nourishes and hydrates your skin while also protecting it from the sun's harmful rays. It'll protect you for real. Like, this is no joke. Like, they got lots of sunscreen in it, but it didn't work well. So that's why I still have, like, a full tube because I used it for, like, two weeks. And then I was like, this isn't working. So then I went and I bought this again. And that is what I use. I don't use this at all. Ooh. So I just, I wash with this, then I moisturize with this. And then um, if I happen to be wearing makeup that day, because I don't wear makeup every day, only because I would like to let my skin breathe. Like some people cake it on all the time, 24-7. Some people sleep in it. Like, no, that's nasty, first of all. But um, if I happen to be using makeup that day, um, before I wash my face, I'll use this um, Alme um, Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover Liquid. And um, this bottle is full because I just got this one. This is new. So, um, yeah, before this I was using the Equate one, but I like this one better. It, it goes on kind of like oil. After you put it on, it looks like oil. I'll use it one day on a video so you guys can see. But it looks like oil when you put it on, and then you wash your face and it comes off. Like So you're going to look like a grease bomb when you put it on, but then you wash your face and then it comes off. So, yep, if I'm on makeup, I use this. Then I use this, then I use this, and I'm done. Okay, um, every every other week, I use a face mask, or once a week sometimes. Um, it depends. Normally, I use face masks depending on how many, how many times a week I wear makeup. But see, the thing for me is that I don't wear, like, face makeup. I wear just eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and some freaking Carmex. Like, I don't do, like, the whole shebang. Like, I don't put nothing on my eyebrows. I don't put on foundation. But that's why I'm also making this YouTube channel so that I can, you know, kind of bring myself to doing that stuff. Because I know if I want to do it to, for a video, like, that's going to give me the experience to, like, actually try it out or whatever. And so um, I'm looking to try that stuff. But, like, I went to Sephora and had them try a few things on me. And I found, like, foundation that works for me or whatever. I mean, I have foundation. Like, I have one right here, actually. Um, L'Oreal True Match compact thing, but, and cool, but I don't use it, like, it's, like, still new, like, I don't use it, but, yeah, um, yeah, so this is the Queen Helene Energizing Avocado and Grapefruit, um, mask for normal skin, and I love this thing, um, it smells so good, and, um, you just put it on, Leave it for about five minutes and then rinse it off or ten minutes or whatever. It says ten minutes, but I usually leave it on for like five minutes and then rinse it off. Um, and this, you know, it helps clean your pores and um, revitalizes your skin. And the avocado in it gives you moisture. And um, yeah, so that's that. So once again, these are the products I use. If I wear makeup, I use this, the Alme um, Moisturizing Makeup Remover Liquid. I got this at Target for like $7, I would say. And I washed my face with the Cetaphil. I got this at Walmart for about 10, 10 bucks. And I moisturized with the Garnier Moisture Rescue um, Refreshing Gel Cream Moisturizer. And um, this, I want to say this is like 5 bucks. I got that at Walmart too. And this was $5.29 from Sally's. I know that because the tag is still on there. <laughs> and um, this thing was expensive. This thing was 12 bucks, and I got it at Walmart, and it's crap. So just because something is more expensive or whatever doesn't mean that it technically works for you because this sure did not work for me. But, um, yeah, and... I mean, obviously, if I'm going to use the mask, I'm going to take off my makeup, then I'm going to put on the mask, then I'm going to wash my face, then I'm going to moisturize. And that's the order I would do it in. And if not, I would just... Whoa. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. So, that's that. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, like I said, the Cetaphil cleanser is really great. Love that cleanser. And um, the Almay Makeup Remover, it does a good job of removing your makeup. 
I haven't tried it on foundation, so I wouldn't know how it worked on like all over the face type thing. But on as far as eye makeup, it works good. And um, the avocado grapefruit mask, love it, love it, love it. And I especially love this, um, the Garnier Fructis, um Moisture Rescue. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or um, anything that you guys would like for me to try, if you have video responses, you know, leave all that below. And make sure you subscribe above. And um, have a good day, guys. Bye.